uh, I've been drinking and, and womanizing, Father, and last Wednesday I did something really terrible. You see, I had my photograph taken with these... Uh, look, if, uh, you if you want to go to confession, will you come to church? You've made me miss two trains already. Now, give me... <laughs> been accused of being irreligious. Some of my best friends are priests. Mind you, I wouldn't let my daughter marry one of them. <laughs> I think that's rather unfair on priests. They're not allowed to get married. But on the other hand, when you think about it, it's more for us. <laughs> I really think they should be allowed to get married. I think if a priest meets another priest and they like one another, they should be allowed to get married. get a priest and a nun and the nun turns to the priest and she says do you, do you ever think that the Holy Father will allow us members of the clergy to to marry and he says I don't think so Mother Superior not in our lifetime or our children's but perhaps in our children's <laughs> you see the Catholic Church does offer to Catholic women the choice of two things only Perpetual virginity or perpetual pregnancy? <laughs> Get a nun. Gets up in the morning and leaves and walks down the corridor. And another nun looks at her and says, it's a difficult thing to say, another nun. <laughs> and says, you got out of the wrong side of the bed this morning. goes on down and another nun says you got out of the wrong side of the bed this morning and this happens 15 times and by then she's livid and she meets the mother superior and the mother superior is just about to open her mouth and the sister says don't tell me that I got out of the wrong side of the bed this morning <laughs> and the mother superior said I wasn't going to say that I was just going to say what are you doing with the bishop's shoes on <laughs> Religion. <laughs> religion is one of the religion is one of the most necessary things in life. I don't know about the afterlife, because by then it's a bit late. <laughs> Anyhow, here's to religion. God bless it. You have a confession to make, my son. Yes, Father. I am a sinner. Ah, uh, well, we all are. Father, I have indulged in pleasures of the flesh. Oh, yeah. My every waking moment is spent with a woman, any woman, all day, all night. I just can't help myself. Well, all you can do is pray for strength. <laughs>
guess who? Don't be so bloody stupid. I, I am, I am what you would, uh, what you would, might call a practicing atheist. <laughs> I'm quite happy to be an atheist because I think actually God likes atheists better. We never ask him for anything. We're not bothering him all the time, saying, oh God, please help me, I'm a different. <laughs> and as a practicing atheist, there's certain things that <clears throat> I travel around the world and no matter where I go, Somebody called Gideon leaves me this book to read. <laughs> it's an Irish book because it says it all began at the beginning. <laughs> but there, are certain, there are certain things that, <clears throat> when I read the Bible, and I do read the Bible, that, that I find difficult to understand. I mean, if God has been there forever, what was he doing before he got to us? <laughs> What was he out there doing? Was he sitting there going, blah, 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 bored today, what'll I do? I mean, suddenly from nowhere, he suddenly decided to create a world. I'll make a world, that's what I'll do. Make a world, yes, that's what I'll do. Rivers, seas, boom, mountains. Boom, everything is there. I want a garden. I'd like a nice garden. Quack, garden me. Hate gardening. <laughs> Here you go. Ah, garden, spit and dust. Adam. Hey! And he, Adam, never once says, Where in the name of God did I come from? <laughs> I mean, he's 40 years of age. He has no child and he has no recall. He doesn't say, How did I get here? But he's quite happy. He just kind of trundles around the garden, working away. And God is looking at him. And he sees that Adam is happy. I didn't put him there to be happy. I'll put a stop to that. And God, during the night, sneaks down like a thief and steals, doesn't ask, doesn't request, doesn't, steals it, his rib. And from his rib, he makes woman. And Adam wakes up in the morning, he's a real thicky. <laughs> he's lying there, he's saying, and there's somebody else, he doesn't say, where did you come from? Where did, how the hell did you get here? Where did you, where did you get those lumps? <laughs> Just goes out and goes gardening. And God comes down and has a conversation with Eve and tells her that she can eat of any fruit in the tree in the whole garden with the exception of one fruit tree. He's talking to a woman. <laughs> he actually tells her not to eat of the fruit. And then when she says, which tree can I eat? He said, that one over there. He points it out to her. <laughs> And when he goes and hides, and she sneaks up to the tree, and a snake comes down and has a conversation. A snake. Now, if I see a snake, I'll back off. One starts talking, I'll crap myself. And the snake actually convinces her to eat the apple. And she eats the apple. And when she eats the apple, she learns shame. That's what happens when you eat apples. <laughs> now, she's not ashamed that she's disobeyed God or that she's eaten the apple. She's ashamed of one here, one part of her body. That's all. She becomes ashamed of that area of the body. Now, why that area? Why not her elbow? <laughs> her nose. Do, do you actually realize that if Eve had been ashamed of her nose, every woman in the world now would be ashamed of your noses. You'd all be sitting here tonight with little nose knickers on. <laughs> Men would be in nightclubs watching totally naked ladies with G-strings on the nose. <laughs> Take them off. Oh, I saw a nose. <laughs> This is the book. This is the book that you'll go into court and place your hand upon. <laughs> and swear to tell the truth, the whole truth. And remember, 
the words of the good book. Let he who is without sin, let him cast the first stone. Oh, oh Christ. Oh, oh. Anyhow, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care, and may your God go with you.